In this video, I'm talking about three methods that you can use with your breath in order to be stronger in any sort of strength training. Let's get into it. So I'm going to show you a couple different exercises in which to demonstrate uh, these breathing techniques. Uh, just know that this applies across all kinds of different methods. Uh, for the first two, I'm going to just use a back squat barbell here. Make sure the plates are in the right place. The first method is simply to hold the breath. Now, many people will caution you don't actually want to hold the breath, but holding the breath by itself is not bad. What you want to avoid is allowing too much pressure to go into one place, like say your head or different places in the body. But the whole purpose, we hold our breath. I mean, it's an unconscious way we use the breath in order to brace up. So you unconsciously use it often in the beginning and it can be appropriately used, but then we're going to go into a next step where often we can start breathing and use that in a way that actually makes us even stronger. So for instance, with this, you might inhale, take a big inhale before even raising the barbell up or if you don't do it there before you descend in the squat. So that would be one way of doing so after i've done the movement where i've held the breath the whole time i would exhale then inhale again and you could of course repeat this for reps the second method is to then pressurize the exhale so the whole purpose that we inhale in the first place and hold that breath is we use the breath in order to tighten up especially in the abdominal the core area because we need this area to stabilize the primary uh, what the abs do primarily is not to move the body like you might do in sit-ups, but instead it is to stabilize as you would need in a back squat or any sort of squat, pressing all sorts of different exercises, deadlifts as well. So you're breathing in in order to essentially make this virtual belt. Many people will use a weightlifting belt and that's fine if you feel it's appropriate for you, but you want to be able to create this sort of pressure without relying on some outside uh, device to do so. So inhaling is, is one way of doing that. Then the pressurized exhale also accomplishes that, but can even allow more pressure, which means more stability and thus more strength. It's gonna look like this. And so that's just standing there. You probably can't see much going on with my shirt, but this area of my abs are getting extremely tight from doing this pressurized exhale. So you can apply this pressurized exhale into the squat itself. So same start with the inhale before you descend. And I'll actually be holding on the descent and then I'll pressurize exhale from the bottom up. So just doing that and moving this for the next exercise, you'll see that I actually really kind of snapped into place because my body is trained along with doing that pressurized exhale, I'm generating more power for something that can be used like that. So you want to learn how to make this inter abdominal pressure that stabilizes everything and forcing the breath out actually creates more pressure than the hold itself. The last exercise I want to cover is known as breathing behind the shield. Same kind of components apply. It's just you want to use this in different exercises, most notably holds or longer type of movements or lack of movements in the case of a hold. So the shield is once again, this virtual belt, the abdominal area, the core that you're working with. Breathing behind the shield means that you are actually breathing in and out, but this time you are doing it with this pressure created. So I'm tightening everything up just like I kind of would do with the, uh, the hold of the breath or also with the pressurized exhale, but I'm keeping that tight and allowing my breath to come in somewhat more shallowly. It can still go down a little bit, but you are actually breathing shallow into the lungs here to create this pressure because if your diaphragm is moving a whole bunch, then it's hard to maintain this pressure. So this is useful when you're doing something such as a hold. I'm going to do just the top part of a chin up. So as I'm holding this position, I'm keeping that brace in my abs and I'm just breathing shallowly 
and of course talking here, in order to demonstrate this. So this breathing behind the shield is what you need to do with anything that's a bit longer in uh, working with it. If you're doing repetitions of an exercise, often you're gonna have a cadence uh, that is gonna move in alignment with that. So even with the back squats here, there's an inhale at the top, an exhale on the way up. And I could repeat that no matter how many reps I'm doing, at some point likely would get tired and uh, the breathing pattern may change. But if you're doing holding exercises, and this does apply to some other things such as uh, bent press, which is a moving support, uh, so there are other cases as well. The breathing behind the shield is going to allow you to maintain that strength while still breathing. Because if you're holding that for 30 seconds, you can't be exhaling that whole time or just holding your breath. Uh, handstands, that's another thing people commonly will hold their breath during. And in the beginning, that may be appropriate. But after you get above like 10 seconds or around that range, you want to start breathing into the movement. This requires a little bit more relaxation, so you're not quite as strong but it's appropriate if you're going for longer periods of time. If you like this, these are just a few of the breathing applications around strength exercises, but breathing can be applied to endurance, to flexibility, to energy circulation, relaxation, all of these or other effects and for improving health as well. I'd recommend you check out my book, Upgrade Your Breath. It's one of my most popular ones and really shows you the wide range of ways you can use your breath for these different applications in order to get great results. You can find that at legendarystrength.com or also over on Amazon.